Radio in the North. We're at Moortown Rugby Club here in Leeds for the Veterans Day. And all this month, uh, the month is dedicated, the month of June, to celebrating and promoting and highlighting the contribution that veterans have made to life in the United Kingdom. And I'm delighted to welcome here the crew of HMS Art Royal to uh, Moortown Rugby Club. Where is the Art Royal at the moment? Where half the crew is here. Where, where is the ship? Well, the vast majority of them are in Portsmouth. We're we'll actually sails tomorrow for a three week uh, time away from Portsmouth to return later on in June. And what's your role in war? Um, and the ship's physical training. <laughs> It's a big job, there's a lot of stuff to do, um, it, is, it keeps me on my toes, it keeps me on my toes, it's busy, it is busy. And how long have you been in the service? Uh, ten years I've been in the service, um, which isn't that long compared to when we die, but uh, yeah, I enjoy it, I love it, uh, the job, uh, just keep it a brilliant job. And the Art Royal is like a floating city, isn't it? Do you actually get to know everybody else? Well you can do, yeah, I mean we've been there since the uh, Queen a few years ago, so we pretty much know everybody else. Um, there's only maybe six, seven hundred people on board from the early days. And um, yeah, you, you do get pretty much on it, you know, as well as you would like, but you do know most people. And what, what do you make of this kind of veterans event? Do you think it's worth it? Well, I think it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I think the people have kind of forgotten what time you will do, what people have done, what people have done, what people have done, and uh, just to remember what, what people have actually given up to, to make it um, really special. I think it's a great thing. <laughs> Always going on um, through either doing things with charities, um, which is for good causes, for children, um, for the veterans. Um, I think it's very important, to, especially in today's society, that we are showing ourselves in the best light. Yeah, it's creepy. She's an exceptionally good natured bird. You stroke her, she's fine. She, she just doesn't like Man United supporters, no, yeah. no, Man, no Man United supporters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't it? Yeah. Not at all. Where are you from? Tell me about you. are obviously a veteran. You're at the Veterans Day and you're wearing a medal and your forces badge. This is the new veteran badge. You can see. It is, yes. Tell me about that badge. Um, I don't really know why they've um, out the veterans badge. I suppose really it's recognition for all the veterans. And thank you. So when we go on foreign trips, it's people who come and see me and they want uh, their foreign dollars, for, except, for example, and then uh, they see me. And where are you in the pecking order of the command of the ship? Uh, a few places, well below the captain. Well below the captain. Yeah. And what's your story? Where are you from now when you see? Uh, I'm from Worthing, West Sussex, uh, which is 40 miles from Boston, and I've done that 17 years in the Royal Navy. Right, uh, veterans. Ones who've already got the badge, ones who've been given it today by myself. Serving personnel, 
family and friends, people in Moortown. It's a great, great privilege for my wife and I to be up here today with you. Uh, these veterans events are hugely important for many, many reasons. One is to be able to personally shake the hand of those who have chosen to serve this country and to say thank you on behalf of the Queen for that. It's also a very good idea, I think, these days, particularly at a time when so many of our members of our armed forces, as you know, are out on, a, on very difficult front lines, for them as the serving members of the armed forces to be regarded and to be remembered, and particularly in the light of what you gentlemen did for your country. So I think this combination of old and young together is really important. Because the armed forces no longer are huge. Less than 200,000 today serve reg in the regular forces. But they come from most of the towns and villages of this country and it's important that people of this country recognise what it means to volunteer for your, arm, for your country and, if necessary, pay the ultimate sacrifice. I'm Captain Mike Manser, the Captain of HMS Ark Royal. Mm -hmm. um, just tell us a little bit about the Ark Royal, because it's not the iconic ship that we saw in the TV series a few years ago. It's, it's another class of uh, vessel, isn't it? Well, well the, the, the modern Ark Royal is, uh, she's actually now 27 years old, so she's, uh, she's quite an old lady, but she's still a very fine ship and one of the invincible class, um, very capable platforms, uh, able to conduct a lot of different types of operation uh, using her different types of aircraft. Hooray! Stand at ease! Yes, uh, Admiral Sir Jonathan Band, First Sea Lord, Professional Head of the Royal Navy. Yeah. And just tell me, what, how do you find yourself in Moortown in Leeds today? Well, because I wanted to come. <laughs> no, we are, um, all the services are trying to support the summer's range of veterans' parades and activities, and uh, the Navy was asked to do four Army, four and Air Force, and uh, I thought, why not come to Leeds? And how pleased are you that this year's Veterans Day, or Veterans Month we're making of it, is bigger and better than ever? Well, I think it's very. I think it's very pleasing. I think. I think, I think it reflects. I think it reflects an, a growing understanding that you know people who have served as forces you know, did something a bit special. And I think that's also put into a particular relevance, obviously, with the campaigns in Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, most cities, most towns, you know, know a lad or a lass who's been to war. So I think the whole thing has sort of been very coincident. So it's tremendous. Yeah, and some of the crew. Um, the first sea lord did mention that he would particularly uh, uh, congratulate the members of the sea at uh, the air uh, uh, the uh, navy. Uh, I would particularly like to say thank you to uh, the Royal Air Force and the Royal Air Force Band as uh, an ex RAF firm and myself. And um, it was uh, brings back happy memories of, uh, of marching to the uh, to the Royal Air Force. Quick march!